Hi, hi guys, it's me, Tihili Sili, from the Get Fitspire, Join the Evolution of Limitless Thinking, and it's that time again, Thought for Tuesday. Today, Thought for Tuesday is about getting uncomfortable. So, what's what's up with that? What's up with that? Who uh, uncomfortable? Who wants to do that, right? Um, so I'm going to give you a little bit of a story. I do love to give a good story from time to time. Um, and they're all based on my life. I like to share from my personal experiences with you guys. So um, I recently learned to swim about three years ago. Um, I went fr from scratch, um, from over 40, no, from knowing, not knowing how to swim to I had just gotten so tired of almost drowning that I decided, you know what, it was so uncomfortable that I had to do something about it. And what I did about it was I learned how to swim. And then when I learned how to swim, it wasn't just enough for me just to learn how to swim or to survive in a pool or, or in the water. I just kept on challenging myself and I still do. So you don't have to get to my extreme. The bottom line was that I got uncomfortable. I got so uncomfortable with this whole feeling out of my depth and, and being afraid of the, of being just able to be in, in natural, natural at sea or in any or outdoor source of water, it, it was uncomfortable. And um, let's fast forward to three years later, more than three years later, and let's fast backtrack to last Sunday, two, two days ago. Um, so I usually swim with this group every Sunday um, they're fantastic. They're, um, they call themselves the masters and it's easy to see why because they are really, really amazing how they handle themselves at sea. And, um, I've been swimming with them simply because of the lockdown with no use, no use of the pool. And then, you know, it also helps with my neurological recovery following, um, following the experience I had earlier this year. So I'm still healing and water does help and swimming does help with that. So anyway, on Sunday, I went to swim. I just thought it was going to be another regular swim in Maracas Bay because, um, you know, I, it, that's what they usually do on a Sunday. But un, unfortunately, <laughs> at, that, that's how I, that time, that's how I felt. Unfortunately, I wasn't aware that they had a special swim that day. And instead of swimming in the bay, which would probably have worked out to be maybe just around 1,500 meters, if that much, if I'd swam in the bay, I ended up swimming more than double the distance. I swam from Maracas Bay, past Tarico, and for those of us who live in Trinidad, you know where I'm talking about, to another bay called Damien's Bay. I swam from one bay to two bays down and back, a total of 3.3 plus kilometers. And um, when I was first, when it was first brought to my attention that we weren't going to do our usual swim, I was just like, no way, no way, no way, I can't do this. And then there's a very good friend of mine. Um, he's a very, really great guy and you know, very supportive. And he said to me, to heal, you know what, just try swimming to Damien's Bay and see how you feel. And, um, you know, he told me that I felt comfortable. I looked, I looked at him and I said, do you think I could do this? He said, just try it, just try it. And that was enough for me. His support and his belief in me was enough for me. On the other hand, there was someone else who was concerned. There were several people who were concerned because they know of the fact that I don't know how to swim very well or I just recently learned how to swim. And they were like, nah, let her take it from the other side, which is the easier side because you see, when we were heading out, we were going, to get, we were going against the tide and there was a current. And coming back, we would be following sea. Long and short of the story, guys, because I know I'm going long and long and long about this whole sea incident. Sea, sea adventure, not incident. Um, the bottom line was that I got uncomfortable on Sunday morning. And had I not gotten uncomfortable, I wouldn't have this wonderful story to share with you guys today. I'm actually going to write a post about my experience um, within the next few days and share with you the magnificent journey I had that morning. But the bottom line is that when you get uncomfortable, you come out of your comfort zone and things happen. All I wanted to do was swim in Maracas Bay that morning and just have a light swim because, you know, I had a long exercise week. But it was unplanned. I didn't know what was going to happen. But 
an opportunity came my way and instead of saying no to this opportunity I said yes when you say yes to life life says yes to you I've learned this from two experience well two two people have shown me that Jim Carrey and the yes man and I have a dear friend her name is Shailen and she says yes to life with such a passion and a loving smile and 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 um it's always amazing what she can create because she's so open and accepting to what the universe can offer her and even if it's just rewards her with great experiences and that's where i'm at now i'm saying yes to life um get uncomfortable guys get uncomfortable we do not we do not go in a grow in a comfort zone you want to do something amazing with yourself today it doesn't have to be physically get out of that comfort zone you want to be the best um, at in your field? It won't, not, it won't happen overnight, you know. But you have to get uncomfortable. You have to go beyond what your job description says and, and do more. Whatever is asked. Whatever isn't asked, most importantly. And most importantly, I said most importantly just then, but even more importantly, you do it with such a willing spirit that people can sense the authenticity in your action get uncomfortable guys get uncomfortable get uncomfortable get uncomfortable I don't know anyone who said you know what that comfort zone it really allowed me to grow no we don't grow in comfort zones because being in, being in a comfort zone just means staying in a zone where with you know you could close your eyes you could do so you, oh that's where that is that's where that is you know exactly where things are in your comfort zone energetically mentally spiritually you just know it physically but when you come out of your comfort zone you just never know what's going to happen from minute to minute and that's the excitement it's called free falling guys it's called risk taking and fortune favors the bold get uncomfortable that's my thought for tuesday um it isn't super insightful in terms of perspective other than you know what you want to do stuff get out of your comfort zone it doesn't have to be physical but anything that you feel that you want to accomplish or you feel like you know I've never really been open to certain experiences it's because you haven't opened up your mind you have to get uncomfortable get uncomfortable so that's it that's my thought for Tuesday friends thank you so so much for listening and I hope that this inspires at least one person um, so therefore um, you I can reach out to one person and allow you to help you be epic be epic it is possible as long as you believe so that's it for my for my thoughts for tuesday guys love to you all have a blessed week have a great week be amazing and love yourself no matter what cheers bye bye